Something about you. Doesn't sit right. Yes? Wouldn't peg you as the rapture type. Not even a little. If you mean I have no interest in joining the Andrew Ryan book club, you'd be right. Just another set of fanatics with a different set of books. I gamble. What? You asked me how I lost Sally. I gamble. Took her somewhere a kid's got no business being. I was winning. A place like that. You don't let a kid out of your sight. But you did. Yeah, and here we are. But the million dollar question is, what's she to you? I have an interest in reuniting you with her. Isn't that reason enough? Let's hope Cohen was on the level when he said this is where we'd find Sally. I can only imagine what they would do with a child in a place like this. Cohen's halfway to Splice Town. Probably thought putting a child in prison would be high art. The sooner we find her, the better. Come on out of there! Papa's got all Sally! sorts of plans for you. You come out! Sally! Come out of there! I can't see her. What are you doing? This is a schematic for the venting system. It shows there are more vents like this one in electronics, the bistro, returns, the book department, and the appliance show floor. So? If she's in there, there are only six vents she can come out of. Now there are five. All these vents are connected to the central heating unit. If we close them off and turn the heat up, she'll be forced out through the central exhaust. The only exit. You want to burn her alive? No, we just make it hot enough to flush her out. You can't do that. Look, either we find her, or one of those splicers will. <sighs> All right. Where are the other vents? Up ahead. <laughs> Can you unlock this? Sure thing. Done. Come on, love. Oh, Mickey just wants to give you a little squeeze. <laughs> you don't want to disappoint your old uncle now, do you? You come out of there! Ain't no fear keeping that tasty Adam locked up in your stomach. Ain't no fear. Quiet, you yegg. She comes out for the honey, not the vinegar. Bet over there. Into the future, huh? Yeah, the kid got hold of that damn radar range last night. Started trying it out on everything. Apples, marshmallows, spoons. Had himself a fine time until our peak at ease stepped in the way. And for some reason, I'm the one in touch with the wife. Well, I locked the damn thing up. Oh, uh, 
So don't forget the code. It's 3958. Two down. Where to now? with you and you got no heart Fancy putting those lock picking skills to work? Look at the whirl. Got it. Oh, how do you stand that? It smells revolting. Observation number 17, regarding unknown phenomena. Phenomena presents is odd shimmer, through which is observed... What? Men in strange hats. Women in large dresses. Buildings that Stand float. Off. That is phenomena a bitch will walk right through that. What if they're still the a service door? Oh, 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 fire exit. Yeah, the only that. reason for Lock him away is forever. So not everything happen at once. What exactly were they trying to keep out? Something worse than them. What could that be? You'll know it when you see it. Can you unlock this? Looks easy enough. And everything just wonderful. all yours. The food, the fan, even your parents are behaving. <laughs> really? You mean it? <laughs> I tried so hard to reduce to fit into this gown. I just wanted to look beautiful for you. I knew right away, silly. Right there at the cashmere. You were sitting with that horrible girl. Well, what was her name? And I said to myself. Soon, he'll be sitting with me. I know she 
she was dangerous or just insane. Next time, I'll be sure to ask. and read quietly in a corner like I did as a child. Careless. Not a single thought to where an accident might leave us. Well, Dr. Wortham prescribed a plasmid. A mother's little helper to keep me sharp. Oh, I've had my misgivings, but I let my guard down for a second. That boy may get himself killed. There's another vent. Close it. Halfway there. There you go. Sally? Sally, it's me, Booker! Now, you come out now! S Sally? Dear, do, do you hear me? It's, it's me, Booker! Now listen, dear, you come out right now! Mr. DeWitt, she's not coming. 
Now let's get the rest of these vents sealed. It's the only way. There should be one more. Welcome to the circus of vents. Come back when you get some money. Can you open this, Elizabeth? Let me have a look. You can't judge a man only by his book. It's done. Characters gotta come into account. Squeeze through. Give me a boost. I heard the little rat scurrying this way. What's taking so long? Come on! I'm just, I'm sure, just give me a second. Seem any worse for wear? Speak for yourself.
Observation number 22, regarding unknown phenomena. What is the source of phenomena? Su Chong employ observers. Observer task to find more phenomena. Observer reports back, young woman appear from phenomena. And just as soon, young woman disappear. Observer has nothing else to report on topic. If Su Chang can find this woman, she will make interesting new phenomena. That's the exhaust. Once we close all the vents, we just need to turn up the thermostat and flush the girl out.
Don't you slam the door on me. Listen! Never you It's a radar range. Never could figure out if the thing's designed to cook a turkey or a splicer. Damn, door's got a key code lock. No way to get in without knowing what it is. All I could think was there are millions of bacteria in each drop of saliva. Did he, did he brush his teeth? Well, what, if, what if he touched a doorknob and then put his fingers to his lips? Waited weeks for that kiss. Then ruined. Let's head back to the toy department.
We need to head for that thermostat. It's our only option. The thermostat, Mr. DeWitt. Waiting won't make this any easier. Did you give him my message? Did you give him my message? Thermostat's right there. Turn the heat up. I'm not going to burn her. It's the only way to bring her to us. If you won't do it, I will. Just give me the word. Turn it up. What? Turn the goddamn thermostat up. <gasps> do you hear that? We need to get back to the exhaust before we lose the girl again. It isn't working. I told you she's coming. It isn't working. Turn if it off. Turn it off. It's not gonna work. We have to turn it off. We are hurting her. <laughs> Sally! <laughs> Sally? Sally, it's Booker. It's me. Sally, come on. I'm gonna get you out of here. <laughs> Sally! Come out here right now! No. Got it! That's it! Mr. DeWitt, ammo! Take this! That'll do! Do it, the girl! <laughs> Sally! Is she do it? It's okay, Sally. Is she? Look, look it's you. See, she's come to see you. We're going home. Do you want to go home? <laughs> Don't fight, please. Don't. I'm here. I just want to take you home. I just want you. Child. She is mine! Let her go! Let her go! She's mine! Shut it down! Shut down the machine! Shut down the machine! Shut it down!
wasn't yours, Comstock. No, no, no. I wasn't. No, 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 no. Yet you had to have me, didn't you? No, this isn't right. And when the guilt no. was too much... You turned to us to solve your problem. To provide a place to go where you might forget. Where there never was an Anna in the first place. Comstock was never one to own up to his errors, was he, brother? Never comfortable with the choices he made. Always seeking someone else's life to claim as his own. Elizabeth. Child. I am so sorry. No, you're not. But you're about to be. Oh. <laughs> 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 